Okay, so what is Legends Overlanding? So basically it's a passion project that me and a partner have been working on for over a year now. We've been doing soft opening trips, we've tested every aspect of this to dial it in and make sure that it's perfect. And what it is, is it's an adventure overland company that does trips in Baja, Mexico. I can tell you that Baja has this kind of wild, this like untamable wild nature to it that just makes it a unique destination in all of the world. It's one of the most wild places left, is, is what I could say. Uh, we've scouted multiple regions that we take people on. They're all timed around the weather, so you hit the right places at the right time. These are off the beaten path places. We wanna take you to hot springs, but we don't wanna take you to the hot springs that if you Google hot springs in Baja, it, everyone goes to the same one. You don't wanna go there. Frankly, it's, it's not that great of an experience, right? So we have to go find other places that are less traffic, that are harder to get to. Um, so these are all the things that we do to make sure that we can get you to incredibly amazing places. When I say this is a passion project, you can probably hear it in my voice. We, we've been trying really hard to build these, what I would call like a bucket list level trip, the kind of trip you can take somebody that you love on and it's, it's gonna be one of the highlights of your whole entire life. It'll be something that you will never forget. How do these trips really work? First of all, we have a fleet of vehicles where you can rent from us, so you can fly down to San Diego and we can pick you up and you can rent like a Tacoma or a Tundra or a Forerunner. Um, they are already set up with rooftop tents. Uh, so one has a go fast camper, one has a normal rooftop tent, one has an alley cabin on the back of it. So depending on what is available, it's first come first serve, but we have our own vehicles that you can rent um, or you can also uh, bring your own vehicle. If you wanna bring your own car and learn how to drive in the desert and learn how to do all that kind of stuff, absolutely bring your truck. Our team of guides will work with you ahead of time on a phone call where they'll interview you about your vehicle, your driving abilities. We'll make sure we have the proper spare parts and tools to be able to support your vehicle on the trip. Now, let me talk a tiny bit about what a trip actually entails and what camp is like. When you meet us on the border, uh, we actually have a spot well before the border crossing where we sync up all the radios. If people don't have the right radios, we pass them out and set them up for everyone. Uh, we go through all the different rendezvous points, have everyone's GPSs set up, so nobody can possibly get lost. We've also went through the border so many times, you know, Nathan Stewart probably knows half the people that work at the border at this point. Um, so we've never had any issues there. They're actually incredibly friendly and professional. Um, so we can guide you through that whole entire process. We can guide you ahead of time on what types of insurance you need for your vehicle. And definitely just so you know, when you come home at the end, we'll guide you all the way back through the border again. So you will not have to deal with any border crossings on your own. Our guides speak Spanish and English um, and have lived in Baja for multiple years themselves. So these people know the area, they know the culture, they know how to get around. So we generally stay on the freeway, cruise through the border towns and are off to our first night's camp. When I say that we're gonna serve you good food, we put an incredible amount of effort not into saying, oh, well, we cook food for you while we're on the trip so you don't have to bring food and don't have to hassle with that. No, we literally have a restaurant. We have a full-blown pop-up restaurant. We hired chefs from some of the best restaurants in Ensenada. We've worked on a menu for over a year to be able to use ingredients from different areas in Baja and use them in season. Uh, we worked with local ranchers to get local beef and all the different ingredients to serve amazing meals. A lot of these are like multi-course meals with wine pairings. You can go and explore and have an amazing time and see amazing places, but you can also do it while eating amazing food, hanging out with really amazing people, and get to spend most of your time and brain energy on the things that will, you will remember most which is gonna be the people and the places that you go. And you can count on one thing for sure, you will be able to learn a lot on this trip too. You'll be able to learn stuff about using recovery gear properly if you're not already a pro at it. You're gonna learn a lot about driving in these environments and all kinds of vehicle maintenance and, and also bush mechanics. There's no such thing as a trip in Baja where at least one car doesn't have a problem. And learning how to fix those cars on the road and be able to keep moving and have a really fun adventure is all part of the adventure. It's all part of the learning experience. It, when I say this is a passion project, it really is a passion project. And being able to take people to Baja for their first time that they've ever done anything like that and just kind of watch their eyes, uh, like watch the joy that they have and just the amazement at the places that they get to go. It's a really amazing 
and fulfilling thing to do. Um, so we are really pumped to be able to bring these experiences to you guys. If you go to our website, we have different trips that are based on different seasons. Um, so there's multiple trips within Baja that you can sign up for. Here's another thing. We have a giveaway going right now where we have a huge discount on the vehicle rental. I think it's $500 off the vehicle rental. Um, the trip itself, the guide and the food and everything is absolutely free. And then we have a bunch of amazing sponsors that actually we use their gear as part of running the company. Um, so like Dometic and Goal Zero and Midland Radio, um, KC Lights, all these guys have teamed up and given us a bunch of gear to make part of this giveaway. So make sure to check out our website at legendsoverlanding.com. You can sign up for the giveaway and you can win a trip. The drawing is going to be in April, so there's only a week left. So make sure you do that. For a free trip, that's a free trip for two people. All you have to do is have passports and get to San Diego. Um, and then when we get to camp, I know that if you bring your own vehicle and you have your rooftop tent and you want to sleep in there, that is absolutely fine. You should definitely do that if you want to. But we do set up these tents that you can stand up inside of that have a power charging station and have cots for everyone that's coming on the trip. And we find that even people that want to stay in their own tent uh, many times end up using that tent to store excess gear, take a nap some days after they've been exhausted from a lot of driving or something. And, and we find that people really enjoy it. Each one also has really nice chairs and a little patio. They're built on a platform uh, on purpose because a lot of people don't know that at night, Baja, a lot of scorpions come out. So we have these platforms that the tents are built on that the scorpions can't climb. So you don't end up with scorpions in your tent. It's kind of a nice thing. Um, we also have, you know, you're gonna roll into camp. The, the campfire is gonna be going. Dinner's gonna be ready for you. It's gonna be served. Like I said, dinners a lot of times are multi-course meals with a good wine pairing after dinner if you're the type of person that wants to enjoy a cigar and a whiskey we have all of that kind of stuff available the other thing we don't want people to have to stress out about we want to take care of the places that we take you we don't want to leave trash we don't want to overburden the water systems and everything right so we bring all that stuff in uh, including bathrooms so we have actual bathrooms with compostable toilets um, you have a hot shower actually um, so all of that's taken care of. So you, you literally need to show up with the clothes that we tell you to bring based on the time of the year and where you're traveling. You need to bring a sleeping bag. You need to bring your own vehicle if you, if you are, or you can rent one of ours. And other than that, we basically have everything taken care of. Here's a perfect example. You look at this video right now. When you off-road in Baja, most all of the Baja Peninsula is actually private property. It was given in land grants to these collections of families. Um, and when you're there, it, it's a common courtesy to actually go and introduce yourself and make sure they understand why you're on their land. A lot of people don't know this. So a lot of people just go off-roading all over the Baja Peninsula and they wonder why they're getting dirty looks while they're cruising through a ranch. Um, so we actually go ahead long before we ever create a new trail and a new area and a new adventure, we go and make sure that we know whose property you're on. We go and check in with them. We actually help them out with stuff. A lot of times we pick up parts for them when we're in the U.S. side of the border for their vehicles and things like that. We, you, we build those relationships and then when we do that, we're able to create unique experiences. Like in this case, this um, ranch has a boulder garden that is amazing for off-road vehicles that are kind of wanting to get a little bit more aggressive and this is like a choose your own adventure some people stay in camp and are snacking and just hanging out and then some people with a more aggressive build want to go try their vehicles out so we were able to get permission to have a this new trail where we take people on and we take them bouldering uh, with their vehicles in a really safe and controlled environment um, you can't really do that without putting in the time to get to know people. Um, the whole point of this project is exactly this. We want to be able to get people to Baja, but we want to be able to do it in a responsible way. We want to do it in a respectful way, but we want to make Baja accessible to anybody that's always wanted to have that once in a lifetime bucket list trip. If you want to talk to anybody about a trip, you should click on the link in our description down below where we have a link to our Discord server. Starting next week, we'll have some people from Legends Overland monitoring that where they can answer your questions. They want to be helpful, even if you're not going to go to Baja with us. If you just have questions about, hey, when is it windy on the coast, the Pacific coast, or what is the best time of year to go to the mountains, or anything like that, feel free to hop on and ask 
We're more than willing to share our knowledge. We probably won't share all of our secret spots, but we're definitely more than willing to help you navigate the border and insurance questions and different things like that. So definitely don't hesitate. Reach out on the Discord. I really appreciate you guys um, sticking with this channel. Uh, hopefully we'll get some videos up on those Land Cruisers and those other vehicles I teased at the beginning of this. Uh, in the meantime, hit the subscribe button and hope to talk to you guys soon. Hope to see you in Baja.